Hello and welcome to the channel. Godwin Emefiele, the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, has been suspended by President Tinubu. Reason given was basically to reform the financial sector. Nigerians, as usual, wasted no time in reacting to the news. On this space, we will get to hear what they think of the suspension. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. The 2023 presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyele Soware, has hailed the suspension of Godwin Emefiele as the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu approved the suspension of Emefiele in a statement on Friday by the Director of Information in the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, OSGF, Willie Bossi. Following the directive suspending him from office, Emefiele has been directed to hand over the affairs of the CBN to the Deputy Governor, Operations Directorate, who will act as the Apex Bank boss pending the conclusion of the investigation and the reforms. However, the Department of State Services, DSS, has reportedly arrested the former CBN boss over alleged sabotage and conspiracy to undermine the democracy of the nation with the narrow swap policy. Reacting to the alleged arrest in a Twitter post, Sowore said the Chief of Defense Staff, CDS, General Loki Irabo and MFLA should be arrested and prosecuted. The media entrepreneur also asserted that President Muhammad Buhari should also be arrested and made to face the law. He wrote, DSS reportedly picks up and detains former CBN Governor Godwin MFLA. In an ideal society, his main accomplice in the military, Chief of Defense Staff, CDS, General Loki Irabo should be arrested and tried with MFLA, of course not leaving out former President Art M. Buhari as well. Also, a former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fanika Yode, has reacted to the suspension of Godwin MFLA as the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. Fanny Kayade described the Mefiele as the living manifestation of everything evil who has destroyed Nigeria. The former minister said he is happy for the Apex Bank and the nation in general that the Mefiele has been suspended. He, however, said that the former CBN boss must face the full wrath of the law for his alleged crimes against humanity, conspiracy to thwart the will of the Nigerian people, on his alleged attempt to subvert and scuttle the country's democracy. He wrote, The beast called Godwin the Greed Emefiele has finally been suspended. He is the living manifestation of everything evil and never as a single individual destroyed Nigeria's Moshe Sen. His atrocities are legion. I am happy for Nigeria and for the central bank that he has gone. Now he must face the full wrath of the law for his crimes against humanity, his treasonable acts, his funding of reason, his massive and monumental thievery and corruption, his wicked and barbaric ways, his conspiracy to thwart the will of the Nigerian people, and his attempts to subvert and scuttle our democracy. He must and will be brought to justice. There have also been mixed reactions for the suspension of the Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Godwin Emefie led by President Bola Tinubu from Nigerians. Netizens on Twitter had different views on the suspension. While some applauded the development, others called for caution. A tweet, Inibehe F. Young said since the president does not have the constitutional backing to remove the CBN governor, and the CBN Act doesn't also envisage a situation like this one, then Emefiele shouldn't have been suspended. Godwin Emefiele corrupted the CBN and made nonsense of our exchange rates and forex markets. The fiscal and monetary policies of the CBN under M did not help the country. However, Mr. Tinubu cannot remove him by virtue of Section 11 of the CBN Act without recourse to the Senate. I'm aware of his subsistent judgment of the Federal High Court in Sanusi's case, where it was held that while the President cannot remove the CBN governor unilaterally, 
he can exercise disciplinary control over him, which includes suspension. That judgment is the law on the issue. My view is that since the CBN Act does not envisage the suspension of the governor by the president, and given the need for institutional independence of the CBN, which cannot be guaranteed without security of tenure of the governor, the president shouldn't be able to suspend, he said. F. Young's view was also re-echoed by another tweet, Shidi Okereke, who said the president should have followed the constitution in suspending MFLA. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Okereke said, I detest MFLA, but if he has to be removed, it should be done constitutionally. Two-thirds Senate ratifying the decision. And this shouldn't even be hard to get because everybody hates the guy. So why suspend? Unconstitutionally too. Anyways, lessons, Okereke said. In a different view, another tweet, Art Toshuku praised the MFL suspension, saying the saints were too many. He said, no story, MFL is gone for good. Also, a saints were too many. Under his watch, his primary KPI price stability crumbled. Inflation went from 9% to 22%. Naira went from 190 Naira to 750 Naira to the dollar. He broke the law by printing 22 trillion Naira illegally. Recall that before his suspension, a federal high court in Abuja on Tuesday summoned the Mefiele over a $53 million judgment debt arising from the Pari Club refund. The presiding judge, in Yang Kuo, mandated that the court will not hear Emefiele's motion for stay until he appears before it. Emefiele was initially invited to appear before it on January 18, 2023, to explain his refusal to obey a valid order for payment of a $70 million debt. The CBN governor allegedly only released $17 million, leaving $53 million in unpaid debts. The CBN governor, Godwin Emefiele, has been arrested by DSS on Friday. The arrest was reported shortly after President Bola Tinubu suspended Emefiele. Prior to Emefiele's suspension, the DSS on December 7, 2022, in an ex parte application with reference number FHC ABJ CS 22552022, sought an order to arrest the CBN governor. The security agency accused the Mefiele of financing racism, fraudulent activities, and economic crimes of national security dimension. The chief judge of the federal high court, Justice J.T. Tsoho, however, refused to grant the application of the DSS. The court said such an application should have been accompanied with the presidential approval because of the grave implications for the Nigerian economy if the CBN governor is arrested and detained. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.